feels so bizarre in the middle of European summer to be surrounded by ice and freezing cold. <laughs> Good morning from the Apicini Mountains of Romania. We spent yesterday driving here from Timisoara with a quick stop off at Corvin Castle. Took some pretty scary and thin roads, but saw some of the best scenery so that we could wake up here in a traditional Romanian house surrounded by these gorgeous mountains. We've got big plans for today, going on two hikes through the mountains to find some of the cool spots and finishing off with an ice glacier cave. Don't really know what it is, but apparently it's the second biggest in Europe, so it should be good. I'm really scared about bears. So Romania has one of the highest concentration of bears in Europe. I don't know what to do if we see one. We don't have like bear spray or a knife or anything. I'm hoping that the hikes we go to are populated enough that it's not an issue, but I think it's gonna be on my mind all day. <laughs> are no joke they are like wide enough for one and a half cars but there's two lanes of traffic and the Romanian drivers just go the regular speed they'll overtake you no worries meanwhile we're like freaking out well I'm freaking out at like the slightest turn or deviation Whew. We may have found food on the road in this super, super narrow hilltop mountain forest and maybe food. This is amazing. This is exactly what we wanted when we decided to do a Romanian road trip. Thank you. This place is like a dream. I don't really know what they are. They're kind of like pancakes. She didn't speak a lick of English. We don't speak a lick of Romanian. From what I understand, this is maybe like a savory flavor with cheese involved somehow, and this one has berries. It's really good. It's kind of more like a naan bread. Mmm. The cheese one's really good. This is amazing. All right, yeah. <laughs> Look at the surroundings though. We are mm. creekside in the mountains, completely surrounded by trees. No idea what they were but the berry one was definitely my favorite because it's like jam packed with jam and it just tastes so fresh and delicious like she's made it this morning. I think it's still like an eight minute drive to the top of the trailhead that we're hoping we'll be able to park and hike from, but it looks like there's heaps of people here as well. It's such a nice day. a half hour hike to some cave area that's all we know about this but there's heaps of people around here and all of the towns that we pass by are so beautiful we keep saying that it looks like Switzerland I love it I'm still scared about bears <laughs> and now I'm worried because I ate berries and everyone knows the bears love berries so I smell like what they like This place is incredible. We got really into hiking about two or three years ago when COVID first started by listening to the Frugal Woods. We used to go to the Onkaparinga Gorge near our house in the morning and have these beautiful walks with kangaroos hopping around. It was so nice. And now ultimately doing that and living that lifestyle has led us to be here. It feels so crazy that we're living a dream that we used to talk about on those hikes. Oh my arm, how do you do this? <laughs> going the wrong way.
This is amazing. We're literally in the middle of a Romanian forest and there's a waterfall that sounds like down here. We never would have found this trailhead if it wasn't for some people looking at the sign because they're camouflaged into the tree but nailed in. Good job. Thanks. Ooh. That wasn't even the first stop. It's just a sidetrack. Trying to find this cave entrance, but it's really hard to see or doesn't exist. <laughs> on the cement. Oh my god. Oh, and all these massive signs. Oh god. Been walking for a while now in this direction, wondering how did we miss the entrance to this hike that we came here for? That's where we parked. This is the entrance. We just missed, and this is the most signed one as well. It's literally on the concrete. There's a million signs on this tree. We just didn't see it. We just looked up best places to see and best places to hike to from where we were. This was number two. It's pretty cool. How small do all those people look? Such a big game. I can't even see them. This is crazy. It's freezing cold in here. dark and cold but really cool now to cave number two Made it to the cave. I have a feeling it's going to be similar to when we're at Corvin Castle, like a lot of people here, a lot of families, but I guess we'll see. Ten minutes. Let's go. Cool. A lot of people on the way down have been talking to us in Romanian and saying how cold it is going to be. It's already freezing, we're not even in there. It's freezing, and that's ice. <laughs> I cannot believe there is snow right there. Jordan's in shorts and a t-shirt, and I'm in a tank top. <laughs> Look how crazy this is. This is all ice. We haven't walked that far down, and it's freezing cold, and there's ice. It feels so bizarre in the middle of European summer to be surrounded by ice and freezing cold. <laughs> Nature is nuts. That's the second cave for today. I think we're going to go get some food. We saw a really cool restaurant. It should only be like a five minute walk from where we're staying. Yeah. So I think that's where we're going to go. It looks super local. I'm Ken. So many stairs. Hikes that go down to start with really lull you into like a false sense of security. Now we've got like 400 steps to go up. You're welcome. What a day. Oh my goodness. I'm so ready for something to eat. Yeah, me too. That's good. That drive home, unsurprisingly, was as beautiful as all of the others have been. We've walked two minutes up the road to this super local restaurant. I've got a chicken schnitzel with some mashed potato. Jordan got a sausage. We didn't have the right amount of money. We were like $2 short and she was like, yeah, it's okay. It was really nice. Great first proper day of the Romanian road trip. 